something very interesting, and that's the idea that babies are completely different creatures than adults, or that children are different than adults. For the field of medicine, I do internal medicine, I guess that's probably true, or not, right? Because some things you say, well, you dose the weight per, you know, kilogram or this or that. Well, in adults, many medications you probably should dose based on that. And in the hospital, we do dose based on that. Because some people are smaller, they may weigh like 70 pounds, and some people may weigh 300 pounds, and they should probably get different dosages of medications. But the idea that children are completely different, are aliens in a sense, compared to adults, I'm not quite sure. I'm also not quite sure why people think that kids don't know anything or can't learn anything. So I have a baby, she's only a few months old, too literally. And I think that is really interesting that sleep training was going really well and now she's crying more when I'm putting her down. It's almost like she's regressed. And that's a shock to many people. And that's why a lot of these baby books tell them, well, you know, you may have thought you trained them well. And then like somehow later, like a few months later, they seem to have forgotten how to use the bottle. They forgot how to suck at the nipple, which seems really strange because they learned it already. How do they forget? And I just laugh, I have to say, regression, right? That's the term you use for when you regress, you forget stuff you've already learned. Adults do it too, kids do it too. It's just natural, right? Think about it as an adult, right? You would say, okay, so you train in a play at work. They're really good. And one day they're like, everything falls apart. Well, the thing is you could actually look into it. Maybe they had a lot of stress at home or they got an accident and their brain's not working. I mean, I see it at work. Somebody's having a bad day, right? Except as adults, we know how to explain ourselves and say, oh, this is why, right? And kids do it too, right? If you want to say adults, because, you know, maybe we're after over the curve and we're just declining in our mental capacity. But that I wouldn't say most people agree that's true even when you're 40, 50, right? But let's say kids, 10 year olds, 15 year olds. So have you ever had a kid practice piano? Well, I've played piano. I can tell you that I'm sure the piano teacher was thinking many times, I thought you were getting better. You played this better last time. What happened now? How could you actually get worse? So, I mean, I didn't practice very much, if at all, maybe the day of, but like, how could you get worse? Well, I mean, we do get worse somehow, right? And it's like, think about it. Sometimes it is natural that we just get worse. And as adults, we have a lot of ways to explain things to make other people feel not as bad, right? Not as, you know, they're not as disgusted at you, right? We say it's called a brain fart. What is a brain fart? How does our brain fart? Where does it come out? Through our ears, through our nose? I mean, obviously there's no fart. The idea is that just a memory lapse, a mental lapse, right? We don't know what happened, but you know, don't worry about it. It just happens. And then you have babies. So they learn things. And sometimes it seems like they go backwards, right? You train them doing this and then they go backwards, right? And I think the common idea is, oh, are they doing this on purpose, right? And you know, in the book, Tracy Hogg writes that, oh, you think they train them well, they're doing well for a few weeks and then all of a sudden they start bawling again. And it's like, she didn't say this explicitly, but it's almost like they're testing you, testing the boundaries again. Yeah, they've abided by your current rules, but uh, I don't know if I like this. Let me try to push the boundaries again. If you think about it that way, it makes a lot of sense, at least for adults, right? Or for kids, like, oh, uh, let me just lay low for a while and then I'll try to do this again, right? Like most people, when they get pulled over for speeding, they're not gonna start speeding right away but you know give it a you know long car trip give it a few hours oh uh, yeah i gotta take care of a ticket but you sort of forgot it's like oh you start creeping up your speed and all of a sudden you know you're speeding again right i mean pushing boundaries that's the thing but i don't know if they're that complicated i feel sometimes they just sort of go backwards you just forget what you learn and that's just life right you're having a bad day you just don't want to do this anymore, right? I mean, think about it. When as adults, right, we put ourselves through a regimen, self-enforced most of the time, like diets. How come sometimes we cheat and we forget how to eat healthy? Do we forget versus we just sort of, I don't know, I give up, right? I mean, think about it. It takes energy and effort to control yourself, right? But the cry, it doesn't. 
And so why shouldn't a baby be fussy upset at times? Is it regressing? I don't know. But it doesn't matter. Adults regress too. It's just normal life, right? Don't worry about it. Not a big deal. Keep on doing what you're doing. Keep on training that baby. You'll do fine.